Erica Bluen and I'm a resource teacher and today I'm going to teach you a game to use with your child at home. Uh, it's, we usually use it with kindergarten and first grade um, students. Uh, it's one thing that I think is a great resource is this um, chart. It's just a letter keyword chart um, from Open Court, which is the program we use, the phonics program we use with um, our primary grades. And um, it's helpful because students can refer to it when they need to. So, and we always teach, when we teach the letter and sound, we also teach emotion. So um, you could ask your child, what letter, sound, and motion have you learned this week? So for example, when we teach the letter P, we, we teach them to say P, real short and clicked, and then we teach them emotion. And the motion we teach is P, 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 like popcorn. So that helps the kids really hear and understand and connect with that motion. Uh, this is a game where there are cubes you can cut, cut out um, and it's really fun and easy. The kids love it um, and it's two consonants and one vowel. The vowel always goes in the middle. So you can have your child roll. So I have a, an F, an E, and another F. So what I would do is I would have your child, this can be, um, we have this form for you as well, put, put it down there, and then they can look at their keyword chart, and then we teach our kids to try to chop out the sounds and then blend them. So um, either chop it on their arm or tap it on their fingers, but I would have uh, the child I was working with say, eh, feh. Oh, feth, is that a real word or a nonsense word? And then um, your child, you could choose to have them write it if you want to on the, on the part that says real and nonsense, or they don't have to. One way you could also make it easier if that's too much um, is you could have your child roll the dice and look at the letter and say, what letter is that? And have them look at their keyword chart and try to find it. Oh, M. The munching monkeys, M says, mmm, right? And so then they can just work and build up from there if they're not quite ready to read a three sound word. Um, there are ways to make it more challenging as well, which we will have on our website. So thank you so much and have fun playing.